Reborn friends, it's Christina with the Reborn family, and I've got sweet little Lila Quinn here, our newest addition. Um, I'm in my daughter's room right now, as you can see. Um, I look a little bit <laughs> like a hot mess, and that is because um, I'm actually in a car accident this week. I know, it's been kind of one thing after another with me, I, I swear. Um, so I'm a little bruised, bruised up. Um, but I am okay, other than the bruises and things that you might see. Um, I am okay, I'm recovering, everything's fine. Um, but yeah, so that's why I look a little tired and uh, this week's video is a little late. But still wanted to hang out with you all and chat, so let's get to it. So today's video, I am actually going to be showing the beautiful details of this realistic reborn baby doll. This is the uh, kit that I did a box opening for in last week's video. She was sculpted beautifully by Bonnie Brown and Adri Stody. Uh, we named her Lila Quinn. Here's her pacifier. Um, it's magnetic. She's got a magnet in her mouth, as you can see. So it's kind of a, a trick of the eye. It looks like she has a real pacifier in her mouth. And then she's got beautiful details by her artist on her hand, um, her nails, um, just absolutely stunning. Her eyes look so realistic. She's got rooted eyelashes and painted 3D hair. Um, so she's got just that beautiful uh, skin tone and um, the mottling, the veins, all that just looks so realistic. Her little cheeks, Everything is very, very realistic looking, um, as you can see. And she is a vinyl reborn baby doll. Here she is without her pacifier. Still looks very real, very fresh newborn with that newborn hat on still. And she's just such a beautiful, precious baby. So as you can see, beautiful, very realistic details. Um, on sweet little Lila Quinn uh, and just incredible um, as you can see like her nails and um, her eyelashes the details on her eyes um, the things that you really can't see uh, typically on camera unless I do a special video like this kind of dedicated to the close-ups um, by the way if you notice <laughs> markings on my hands my girls I let my girls draw pictures on my hands <laughs> um, before this video so uh, that's what this is. Gracie drew me a heart and joy drew a unicorn and a flower. So that's what, uh, that's what that is. Um, I did not get tattoos or anything like that. They'll wash off. Um, but, uh, anyway, so yeah, so, so this beautiful girl and what I'm showing to you is reborn dolls, um, are different. As you can tell, they're very different from silicones. Um, I, I feature a lot of full body silicone babies on my channel. But I really wanted to show my appreciation for the beautiful and realistic art that is the traditional reborn dolls, the vinyl reborn dolls. That's what this girl is here. So um, a lot of people have commented how beautiful and realistic she is, but they think that they can't afford her. And I just want to let you guys know that while she is still very expensive, um, she is much, much, much less pricey than a silicone doll. So a partial or full body silicone would be much like three times the price of her. Um, so she's a lot cheaper than a silicone baby. Um, I, I was, cheaper is probably a bad word to use, but she's less expensive. But you're still getting such a realistic baby. She's so cuddly, you guys. I, you'll notice I hold her like all the time. I love holding her. She's weighted perfectly. Um, feels just like a real baby. She's super cuddly, like the way that her little limbs curl up. Um, Bonnie Brown is kind of known for having these really awesome um, curled up limbs. And Adri Stody also um, collaborated in the sculpt of this baby. And she, the, the collaboration is like two of um, these amazing sculptors coming together and they just made such a beautiful sculpt. Um, also, just so you guys know, the next vinyl sculpt that I plan on getting is going to be the Joy Kit after my daughter, Joy, and it is an Awake Kit. So I'm super excited for that. I don't know when um, or which um, which baby I will be getting, um, but I'm hoping, 
hoping the right baby will come along soon and um, and that it'll be within my budget. Um, so I, I don't have a budget right now for any new babies. So I don't have any new babies coming at the moment. Um, so I'm just hoping that the timing will work out with a joy, um, a joy baby, maybe one of the prototypes, maybe not. Um, and um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited for that. Um, but I did just want to show you guys, so, and I showed you as well in the video um, earlier of the close-ups of her painted 3D hair. Um, I put a little hospital hat on her just because I think it, it adds to the newness of her um, because we've only had her one week, so um, maybe a little over a week. I guess maybe it's been two weeks, but um, I think I've had her two weeks now. But anyway, whenever I have a new baby, I like to put a hospital hat on them for a little while um, because they are that fresh new baby to me. Um, and it adds to the realism, I think. Um, I love these types of pacifiers, personally, for the um, for the um, the vinyl reborn dolls, because uh, again, it adds to the realism. It looks like a real pacifier. I mean, it is a real pacifier that's been altered with a magnet. Um, so I actually have two of these um, because the magnet, the way that the magnets face, you never know which way it's going to be. So if, it, if I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, I'm in my daughter's room and they're actually in my bedroom, which is next door um, to this room. And so um, they're playing, they have, cause they have these like really big houses. And so they have, and this is uh, for my car accident, but um, they have these really big like um, doll houses. And so I just uh, ended up putting them in our bedroom and they um, are playing in the doll houses right now. So I can, I can kind of monitor them and hear them um, while they're next door to me but you might hear it too. So if you hear the noise and then it's really, really, really hot in Texas right now. I'm actually wearing a Texas shirt. This is a band, a country band from Texas. Um, anyway, so uh, it's really, really, really hot here. I know it's hot like everywhere in the country these days, but um, it is very hot in Texas right now. So you also are hearing the fan in the background. So I apologize if people are kind of bothered by noises and things like that. I'm doing the best I can with my videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, this week is just kind of a quick one about reborn baby dolls, about the vinyl baby dolls, um, the details on them, and you know the, the the realism that they can have. And you don't have to spend a whole lot of do uh, dollars to achieve um, that realism. So to give you guys an idea, this baby was less than $1,000. She's under $1,000 and you can get, get realism like that. Um, so, you know, hopefully that helps you guys um, kind of get an idea. And without, I know the pacifier takes up a lot of her face, but I just think she's so cute with it. But without the binky, she's still very realistic looking. Looks, sometimes she kind of looks like she's smiling. Sometimes she looks like she's kind of squinting. Like she kind of like gets little different facial expressions and different lighting, different angles. Um, just, you know, holding her and things like that. Um, so I just, I love this baby. I love this kit. I love this sculpt. I am a big um, supporter of uh, sculptors. And this is definitely a kit I recommend. Make sure you get the real kit because you will not be satisfied otherwise, I, in my opinion. Um, it's just such a beautiful kit. Um, and it can be painted by so many different artists in such a beautiful way, in so many different ways. Um, whether you want rooted hair or painted hair, painted hair is going to typically be cheaper than rooted hair, depending on the artist. So, um, if you get a painted hair baby by like an artist like Precious Paz, it's going to be several thousand dollars. If you get a painted hair baby by a different artist, um, it's usually less for painted hair versus, um, rooted hair. Um, and these are things that I've had to learn kind of the hard way over the last two years as I've studied and um, gotten all sorts of babies and gotten to experience all types of artists and artistry and, and, and all types of babies and all types of reborn vinyl baby dolls, reborn um, silicone baby dolls um, and everything in between, cuddle babies. Um, so there's reborn cuddles, there's um, partials, um, like I said, the silicones, um, and there's all sorts of things you can have added um, so like the magnet for her pacifier, right? That's, that was added to her so that she could take a pacifier. Um, you can also, if you want, have a magnet added into their head. <laughs> it sounds a little weird, but, um, and then you can do magnetic bows if they have painted hair. 
Um, so that's in addition, you can have, have added, you can have their ears pierced um, if you want to do that. Um, I like to just have them kind of however the artist created them. I'm kind of a purist in that way. Um, I give my artists pretty much full creative control. And I let, I say just however you see this, this sculpt, the most realistic, just create it that way. Um, this baby was actually not custom made for me. She was already created and I just messaged the artist and um, asked if we could work out a deal and uh, we did and I was able to get her uh, home with me and I'm so happy and thrilled with her. She's beautiful. Um, her artist, um, you can check out on Instagram and Facebook. It's Lings, L-H-I-N-G apostrophe S, Lings Reborn nursery and um she's amazing she's an amazing artist um and she does beautiful 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 work um so really and and honestly like her dolls should like this doll should be over a thousand dollars easily um i was so impressed when i opened her i couldn't believe that um i could actually afford her you know that i thought this doll when i saw her in real life that she's so realistic i thought that like this is like a twelve hundred dollar doll truthfully. So, um, I love when artists make things affordable though. I will say that. So while this artist could charge twice of what she does, like she doesn't. And I love that about these, a lot of these artists is that they still continue to make them affordable. Um, my really good friend, Jennifer Linkovic is an amazing reborn and silicone artist. So she does silicone too. Now she does sculpting. She does it all. She's so creative and artistic and wonderful and her babies could cost like $3,000 and she charges like half that, which is amazing. Um, she charges like fifteen to $1,800 for her babies and she really could truthfully charge double that. Um, but she chooses not to because she wants them to be affordable to others. So anyway, all right, my girls are getting a little crazy playing in there. So I'm gonna go be with my real, my real babies as well as hold this baby and we're gonna all hang out. We're gonna have tacos, it's Taco Tuesday, except it's not Tuesday, but uh, you know, maybe you're watching this on a Tuesday, in which case just pretend it's Taco Tuesday. Um, so it's actually Monday, but, um, anyways, y'all, thanks for being here. I love you guys. You're important to me. What do we say? Bye. Bye, reborn friends.